So we're back at Manchester on the track, man. And today we want to mess around with the arcade games. We came here the other day, we played 18 and then had some time left. So we ended up playing Capture the Flag with Jordan and Josh. And I don't know what the other ones are, but this one is like just short irons and stuff like that. So we have it on. Well, it's more, it's more approach shots because you got full yeah. length irons too. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So this one, um, you get three shots. I think it goes through three rounds and whoever is closest to the pin, you capture the flag and you basically try and get as many flags as possible. Every time we've done it, it's, it supposedly randomizes it, but it's definitely alphabetical, alphabetical order because I always go first. So I think since we're already kinda in the closest to the pin mode, let's go closest to the pin. Okay. Get on the green to avoid penalties. Your score is the distance from the pin plus the lie. Oh. Interesting. So we're trying to figure this out because it looked like it was only one person, but it says define a custom game with friend for. There we go. Ah, ha ha, so custom. If you're doing multiple people, go to custom. So setting up capture to pin actually took us a couple times. No. Capture to, no, close this is close. Pin. You said capture and you threw me <laughs> off. Capture the pin. It actually took us a couple times to set up closest to the pin. The first time we set it up, we figured out that if you go and just whatever the automatic preset mode is, it's only one person. After we figured out in custom, we could do two players. We then hopped into it and found out we were still gonna play the same hole over and over again, unless we changed something in settings. Um, so we figured out that when you set it up with your game, you can select the course and you can play however many par threes that course has, or you can pick just one if you want. So like some of the fictional courses are all par threes on there. So you could do up to 18 par threes if they have them. We ended up playing, I think, Bethesda, which has four par threes and we played the four of those. So it gives you your averages? Yeah, so it gives you your averages um, as far as how far away you were. And then also with the penalties that it includes in the game, it gives you your actual distance and then your average of all those shots together. I like that. I like capture the flag better. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, I don't know that I would probably play this one again. I also was not, I wasn't hitting the ball very good. Um, I'm, I'm finally feeling a little warmed up now, so. I'm sure that maybe that had a uh, part to do with it, but, but I feel like the uh, captured flag is just more fun. My favorite part is definitely closest to the pin. I I like capture the flag. F I hate closest to the pin. I like hitting different approach shots. And Justin kind of said this while we were playing, but to me, I feel like that's a little more real world, whereas closest to the pin, yes, it is like, it's par threes and you're hitting tee shots and you do have more hazards and stuff like that, but you're not gonna hit necessarily the same shot over and over again. But with capture the flag, hitting those different approach shots, I think is just, I don't know. It, it feels more real world to me. Unless you're obviously going for one specific flag over and over again to try and take it over, then that's different. Let's go hit it. Something a little different, I feel like. All right. Can you hit bombs like guys and girls on TV? Roll your sleeves. Start the countdown clock and compete in the thrilling long drive comp uh, the long drive game all about distance and raw power. So this is just driving. Skilled, four minutes, eight shots, medium fairway. Let's let's just go let's just go skilled for now. Yeah. Start out easy. We haven't touched the driver at all yet. Oh, that's got no. 
We didn't start out with the long drive. That would be ridiculous. Oh, we would have pulled something. Oh, man. No, that, that second round was much better for both of us, right yeah. down the middle. Today, definitely my favorite was longest drive, just because I was hitting my driver really well. I just was getting too much loft. I might have to do a, like a... Little club adjustment? Well, yeah, like on here and like try yeah. different settings out and see. That's what I think is cool about this is like now we can do that. Yeah. You can like adjust your driver and see like what actually works best for your swing. Because I've never been fitted for a driver. I've only been, only did the iron one. The long drive one I really liked, although I will say, like you're just like trying to hit a drive as hard as you can, as far as you can, and you are you don't really have a lot of time in between shots, so I don't know how good that is for actual practice out on the golf course, because for me, a big thing that I just, my, my swing thought all the time is just smooth and through, I, I was just trying to hammer it. You know, so I don't know how, how good that would, how efficient that would be for actual practice. There is some um, game on there, it's not an arcade game, but Jordan, the head pro at Manchester was telling us like it's a combine thing where it will spit out a target and you, you have to try and hit that. That seems more interesting for me because you go through all the clubs in your bag and you're you're practicing your, uh, your distances and stuff like that. So that seems more interesting or just going out on the range and like practicing, um, the drive, the drive, and 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 all that stuff, I think, would be better than the long drive. The long drive is fun, but I don't know. I wouldn't do that for practice. Bullseye. I take on your friends in this engaging point scoring game for all skill levels. Hit closer to the pin to score more points, and make sure to get the maximum out of your boosters. That was something. And make sure to get the game. maximum out of your boosters. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Video game. This sounds sick. Your choice. <laughs> Let's try training post. All right. Um, and going out west. Going out west. Uh, skilled. Skilled. Let's do, we'll keep it in the intermediate section. 80 to, 80 to 170. Six targets. Three attempts. Select. All right. Here we go. This is sick. I love I love these arcade games. <laughs> Randomizing <laughs> order of play. Here's the true test. Are you going to go first again? Yep. It's totally freaking alphabetical order. Yeah. Real random. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's fun. It's like it's like gamey. What it's is fun. your favorite so far? Today, yeah. long drive, just because that's the only club I can hit. <laughs> but um, no, I like capture the flag a lot. I think it's competitive and fun because you're stealing back and forth from each other, mm -hmm. um, and it does require a little strategy as well, which I think is pretty cool. So Burke recently got a new five wood. He yeah. has not hit it yet. Yeah. So we are going to do longest drive between Burke's five wood and my three hybrid. We're gonna do four off the deck and four off the tee. Four off the deck, four off the tee. Start off the deck.
So with today being the first day that we were playing specifically the arcade games and not just actual virtual golf, uh, it was really cool to just get swings in. And I think that that's something that gets taken away a little bit from just playing golf is you're not hitting that same shot over and over again. I really like capture the flag. I think it's a lot of fun because it's all different distances. It's competitive. You can play with, I don't know. We played with four people the other day. I don't know how many you can play up to. My least favorite was probably closest to the pin. I actually liked the Wild West, whatever that was called. Bullseye a little bit better, um, just because it was, I guess, less traditional golf. So it was making like practice a little bit more fun. But overall, I think the arcade games could be a really good use to improve and to practice and kind of make a fun way of doing it rather than just a regular range session. Oh, by the way, if you're not subscribed, you probably should because I think like 80% of our viewers aren't subscribed. I don't know what you're doing. If you, you just, you know, if you're watching weekly, just click it and go check out the podcast and subscribe and review and rate and all that stuff because it, it helps. So any anything to add there?